The outbreak at OCCC is getting worse. 124 inmates and 19 corrections officers have tested positive for COVID. The Hawaii Supreme Court had its first hearing today on whether inmates should be released from the overcrowded jail. Nikki Shenfeld joins us with more. As case numbers continue to rise, the Office of the Public Defender is urging the Hawaii Supreme Court to release nonviolent inmates immediately. But now there's also concern that inmates who test negative for COVID-19 can still bring it out into the community. We're not talking about releasing some sort of rampant um, crime violating uh, folks into the community to put everyone at danger. Pre-trial detainees and those charged with nonviolent misdemeanors or petty misdemeanors will be considered for release first. So far, two of the 19 modules at OCCC have been completely tested. Two more are currently underway, and there is no time frame on how long it will take to test the other 700 inmates. We expect a significant number more as we test, uh, mass test the remainder of the 17 living units throughout OCCC. Attorney General Claire Connors said the biggest worry is the high number of COVID cases across Oahu and the Department of Health not being able to trace and contact released inmates. We subsequently find out that this person had come into contact with another person, might actually be suspected. They might need a test in another two days and we might not be able to find them and we may have very well released into the community somebody who was a risk. The prosecutor's office had three simple requests if inmates were released. We asked that to be negative, have a verified residence, and we would also ask that, um, uh, you know, that they'd be naturally given a return date uh, to, to return to court. Although no inmates have required hospitalization, some have been denied at certain hospitals. Yesterday at Honolulu District Court, a judge ordered two misdemeanor defendants to be to go to Hawaii State Hospital. Hawaii State Hospital indicated they would not accept them because they were coming from OCCC where COVID has been. DPS says there's no alternate housing available at this time. The Supreme Court is taking the issue under advisement and will make a decision shortly. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.